Hey, Ry Christ here, and I'm going to show you how to use Ift to get creative with home automation. If you don't know what Ift is, Ift is a website that connects social media sites and online tools like Gmail and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, whatever you can think of. It combines them and makes it so that you can have one thing happen on one and another thing happen as a result somewhere else. Now, if that sounds confusing, don't worry. Just pull out your smartphone and download the app, IFTTT. So right from the start, as we pull the app up, we can see this really classy kind of animated design that shows us what if does and how it does it. And it's really easy and intuitive once you get a look at it, once you get your fingers on it. One of the really cool things about if is that it's compatible not just with websites, but also with actual physical products. And we've got two of them right here. This is the Philips Hue light bulb and the Belkin Wemo motion detecting switch. Both of these have their own channels on if. So you can say, if the motion detector detects movement, then post this on Twitter. Or if something happens on Facebook, change the lighting. And if you combine them, you can do cool things like this. Right here in the app, I can go to my list of recipes that I've turned on, and I can hit the plus sign to create a new one. And what I'm going to do is say that the if will be the motion detector switch I've got right here. So I scroll over, and there it is, right there, the motion detector switch. Select that anytime there is any new motion. then the result will be that the Philips Hue light is going to change colors to something random. Now this is a pretty impractical and not terribly functional usage of it, but imagine at a party, people moving around, the light keeps changing colors, might be kind of fun. There are much more practical uses you can do too. Suppose you have a motion detector in your yard and you want to know if someone is prowling around your backyard at night. You can set it to change your lamp bright red if that's the case. And so as we can see now, if I trigger the motion detector and the little blue light goes off, sure enough, in just a second or two, the lamp changes colors. I can do it again and again and again, and it'll keep changing. Now remember, you're not limited to just syncing your devices up with each other like we have here. You can sync them up with websites online and tools online like Twitter, Facebook, Google Documents is a great one. Suppose every time the motion detector is triggered, you want to have a new line put into a spreadsheet to keep track of who's coming and going in your house or something like that. That's all doable. If you can think of it, it's probably possible on IFT. So get creative and give it a shot. Thanks for watching. For CNET, I'm Ry Christ. Thank <laughs> you.